Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing an organize and clean with me. My junk drawer was in desperate need of some organization, so I'm excited to be sharing that with you. Grab a coffee, throw this video up on your TV, and tackle your to-do list with me and start your week off fresh. Okay, are you guys ready for this? It's so bad. Oh. Oh, my dirty little secrets exposed. It's so bad. This is our junk tour, guys. All right, I'm gonna grab the garbage can and we're gonna start going through this. So how many of you have junk drawers like I do? <laughs> or am I the only one that has just this disgusting drawer of like everything? It's seriously a catch-all in our house. We just toss everything into this drawer if we don't know where to put it. We store all of our pens and like office supplies in here as well. Cards, just everything. So if you guys can relate, leave it in the comments down below. Do you have a junk drawer? Do you have like a drunk, like a junk like bin? What do you guys have in your house that's kind of like your dirty little secret?
So to organize this drawer, I had Mike swing by the Dollar Tree and pick up some bins and they came in two packs and three packs. You guys don't need anything fancy to organize, just a few dollars and I got this entire drawer looking like brand spanking new. I am so excited. My junk drawer has never looked so amazing. So anyways, just wanted to tell you guys, dollar store, hit it up because you don't need anything fancy pantsy to get your drawers and your life organized. I have a ton more bins that I have for the bathrooms upstairs and I'm super excited to organize up there but organizing just it refreshes my soul I like looked at this drawer for five minutes afterwards and sent Mike a picture I was so excited that it looked so good so anyways I hope I motivated you guys to organize that dirty little secret in your house that junk drawer or that nightstand drawer that might be where your catch-all is so anyways I hope you guys get a little bit of motivation here Isn't this drawer so pretty now? I have like all of my M&M Rustics business cards, the batteries, the pens, the stamps, everything all laid out so nicely and easy to find. I'm so excited with this after result. And hopping into the rest of today's video, I've got some cleaning motivation here for you, just doing my daily tidy up. And I'm also going to be hosting my parents at my house next week. So I wanted to make sure that the basement was nice and tidied up for them as well, that they had fresh sheets on the bed, the bathroom was cleaned, and the basement was an absolute disaster. As you guys know, we had a flooding accident earlier this spring and we have not gotten around to fixing the sheetrock down there yet. Um, but I wanted to make sure that all of the toys at least were put away because the downstairs playroom just gets completely like destroyed when the kids are playing down there. So I wanted to make sure that it was straightened up before my parents came to my house and that they had a cozy little space to call their own for the next week. So here's the basement. It's an absolute disaster. Like I said, the kids love to play down here in their ball pit. So I'm trying to get everything put away. Kaya's in her swimsuit because she's anxiously waiting for us to be able to go to the lake after this. I told her after I got the 
whole house straightened up for Mimi and Papa to come next week, we would be able to go to the lake. So that's why Kai is running around in a swimsuit in this video. She also helped me. She was such a big helper today in the basement. She helped me put all of the like balls from the ball pit away and she put some of her toys away. She even found a few toys that she'd been missing, decided she wanted to play for a little bit. So anyway, it was a lot of fun like cleaning with Kaya and getting things taken care of. So this downstairs bathroom gets the dirtiest. I hate when Mike uses this to like clean out his painting tools, but we don't have a sink out in the garage. So Mike for M&M Rustic orders, when he's like spray painting them, he'll take all of the parts down here and wash them out. So here with this little scrub brush that I got from Grove Collaborative, I have the link for Grove down below. You can find this scrub brush there. It is totally, annihilated because I've been using it so much, but I use this to get all of the paint off of the porcelain sink and to get it off of the faucet. Um, that paint does come off pretty easily, but it's just, I hate when he uses this sink for all of his painting supplies. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you got all of the motivation from the video today and you're willing to tackle that to-do list now, whether you are cleaning along with me or watching me to get some motivation for the day. If you guys are new here, I would love if you considered subscribing to my channel before you leave. I do lots of cleaning motivation, decorating, homemaking, mom lifestyle videos, anything to do with my day-to-day -day activities as being a work from home mama, I share with you guys here on my channel. All right, you guys, I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you tomorrow for another really fun video. Okay, bye you guys.